Hi. In this slide, again, it's sort of a, a life cycle, chronological way of looking at how in each stage of the life cycle we have to change how we think about and sell the customer. So early on, we were a seller's agent. We, we were the sum of all of our, our principles, our, our franchised manufacturers, and all of our printed material was who the, the lines we represented, the catalogs had our stuff that we sold, etc. And we were all about the products. And we wanted to go out and teach customers what the products were, how to use them, all that sort of stuff. Well, at some point, the manufacturers started to duel us, or competitors came out with an equally excellent product with a lower price, and so the products started to become commodities. And we said, well, we don't, we don't sell commodities because actually we sell service. Um, now, what exactly is service for a given niche and a given strata of customers within that niche? Most people never went beyond sort of just generic service standards. We answer the phone after, before it rings a third time. You call us today, you get it tomorrow. Our error rates are five screw-ups per thousand line items. Our fill rates are 92.2% on every item we stock, whether you buy it or not, or we have one-stop shopping for you or not. We don't, we don't sort of think that way. We're, we're thinking in just generic service. So it's now beyond basic service excellence, we would do extra services for some customers, like we'd special stock things that uh, the only they bought. Uh, we would do custom uh, 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 processing kind of stuff for them, or we do special uh, third-party logistics uh, aspects. We might do kit assembly, that kind of stuff for a given customer. Um, then we sort of think, well, you know, there's sort of a bit of a dotted line here. We, we've been doing a service thing forever, and now we're starting to realize that customers are giving us, making a lot of noise about wanting supply chain value. So maybe we should do an audit, and we should go out and say, we have looked at everything that's going on between the two of us, the inter-business process relationship that's sort of grown up, unmanaged, uh, unsupervised. And we have found two, three, four, five, six ways to tune, tweak, whatever, to take some inefficiencies, some downtime, some mistakes, uh, whatever, out of it. So that we're not talking about redesigning, re-architecture. We're just talking about tuning the buy-sell relationship as it stands. But the next step would be to say, well, wait a minute. Maybe there's a better way. What if you, you know, entered your orders electronically and we build you electronically? Uh, what if we took stuff right to the supply closet instead of the back dock? So now we're talking about rethinking the inner business process processes that exist between us. And you'll notice over here it's subtle, but now we're starting to think about the customer being the driving force. And the manufacturer, it's not like we don't still love them and, and want to work with them and get their extra time and attention and resource energy. But by working with the right customers and doing a terrific job, our volume grows, which drags these guys along and pleases them. So this is becoming the caboose, not the engine. And having the right customer-centric focus stories and, 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 and strategies is what pleases the, the, the manufacturers. And only the buyer may say, well, look, let's get married and hear a lot of thoughts on that. And we co-create some sort of relationship, like an integrated sole supply thing, where we're really um, starting with a contract. And then we turn around and say, let's go you know, build a supply chain behind us to take care of the contract. Now, at each stage, look at, look, think about what are the selling skills, what's the appropriate incentive compensation that we should have at each step, and you'll start to say, you know what, we can't, we can't be stuck back here with this kind of model, this kind of incentive, if we want to do these kinds of things down here. We have to change. That's the end of this slide. Thank you.